Hi, my name is Mr. Exum and welcome to my EdTech channel, where I show you how to get the most out of technology in the classroom. Now, this video is a simple overview of Microsoft Teams for students. Microsoft Teams is online software that can be accessed anywhere on any device. It works like an online classroom environment. You'll have a team for a particular class. You'll be able to communicate with your teacher, collaborate with your peers, share resources, complete assignments, receive feedback and have virtual meetings. You may also be part of other teams in your school, college or university, such as sports teams, music groups, uh, the student council or any other group. Teams can then be used for you to work together, organise and continue to communicate between your face-to-face -face meetings. It's important to recognise that Microsoft Teams is used all over the world and 91 of America's 100 largest companies use Teams. So getting used to using Teams is more than just about submitting your classwork. Uh, it's learning key digital skills for the future workplace. OK, so how do we get into Teams? Well, you should have it installed on your computer uh, as an app if you've installed Office. And so you can just find it by looking in the Start menu and looking for Teams there or searching for it. Uh, if you don't have it installed or you're on a different machine, you can always access it from going to office.com, signing in and then clicking on the web app there. But you should install it on your phone, your smartphone, because you'll be able to receive all your notifications, respond to messages, assignments. You can do almost everything from your the app on your phone. So this is what Teams looks like. You've got some uh, important uh, tabs on the left hand side okay so we've got our activity we've got teams assignments calendar and files and depending on what apps have been installed you may uh, have some other ones as well but these are the main ones you're going to need access to and your teams one shows the teams you're a member of you're currently a member of this biology team and a football team that the people who own those teams the teachers will have added you but if they send you a join code to join a team then you click at this button at the top right and enter that code and you'll then become a member of that team so you can see that we've already got some information we've got some notification icons here uh, as to what's going on if we click on activity that will give us a nice summary of everything that's been going on recently and um, so i can very quickly just click through and see what has been added by who uh, looking at my activity feed there okay going back to my teams okay let's start off by looking at this football team all right, we can see here that from the teacher that there's training is at 2.30 today and not 2 o'clock. Okay, they've um, added the whole football team here, which means we're all going to get a notification. So that means there's been a notification and it will um, ping to us. Maybe we'll give that a thumbs up just to say, yeah, we've read that, we understood. Okay, watch this video before training to so have an idea of what's going on and they've shared a YouTube video here for me to watch. So we've got this kind of general area for posts and a uh, kind of conversation. And we've also got an area for files on this team here. Okay, and maybe maybe they've sent us a PowerPoint with some uh, some training information in it. Now, if I wanted to reply to this or start a new conversation or message somebody else in the team, then I can type it here. And as it says here, type at to mention someone. So if I wanted to ask the que the teacher a question, I could go at. Okay, there's the teacher, and say, do we need shin pads? Okay, the teacher has now been sent a message saying do need shin pads and they're going to get a notification about that. So that's the simple way to communicate. If you want to add a bit more detail to your, to your messages, you click the format button and you get a bit more editing options here. You can type a longer message, you can add a, sub, uh, a subject, you can put in links, you can attach any files okay, uh, from your OneDrive or for anything from your computer into the conversation here. Um, and be aware you're not sending this directly to the teacher this is going into the general conversation for this team okay you can also add emojis and stickers and there's a few other things you can add on there as well so that's the simple way to communicate let's go into the class team though okay now a class team has a bit more information here because this is for one of your academic subjects so you've got tabs across the top posts files any files added by the teacher will be in there okay now here we've got class materials folder anything in there is read only i can open these files okay but i can't edit them as a student any other documents in here that are not in that folder 
I can edit. Okay, so you'll be careful if you click on something, don't make changes unless you mean to change it. Okay, as you can see here, as a student, I can upload files to the, the general area as well, but everybody else is going to get those. We've also got a class notebook here. So this is your OneNote for this class fully integrated. Okay, so you don't need to go finding your OneNote anymore for each class. You can get it from straight within here. This button is important, the navigation button, because that will open up the different areas. You are, in this case, student test four, and we can see what we've got here. And you can work directly within OneNote on here. However, the functionality is limited as to what you can do with directly within Teams. So you might want to click Open in App to then launch OneNote properly. Then you'll be able to work on that notebook within the app itself. And it will sync back to here. You can always go to the, to the actual app and work on it there, and it will always be updating it here. But it's great that you can access it always on here and make changes. Assignments, if a teacher has set you an assignment, it will pop up here. Okay, so you can see I've got an assignment due tomorrow. I'm gonna to click on that. This is what they want me to do. There's 20 points available, there's some instructions, and there's two documents here. One is in my OneNote to complete, and one is a Word document to complete. So if I click on that, again, it will take me straight to my OneNote. I can do this all within Teams. I do not need to do this anywhere else, okay? I can use uh, my stylus. So this is multiple choice questions. So I'm gonna say that one's right, that one's right, that one's right. Okay, I can complete all the work they want me to do. This is, I've got to write an apparatus list. It's a Word document. Now again, look at this, I can click on it and I can just open it up straight within Teams. I do not need to launch a separate piece of software, okay? Again, if I need more functionality, I can click open in desktop app and it will launch Word directly and I'll just be able to work directly in Word and it will save back to here all the time. Also, I don't need to save as I'm working because they're always being saved. All right, look, it says saved at the top. So I can write my apparatus list here and fill in my work, right, whatever the teacher wants me to do. When I'm finished, I can just click close and that will actually have saved there. And when I'm ready to hand in my whole assignment, I can just click hand in. There we go, and that has now been submitted. Go okay, back to my assignments, you see I've got nothing left to do, but any completed ones I can review, I can go and back in and change if I need to, any of those documents that I already worked on in those assignments. Okay, any grade that the teacher's given me, will come back in here, okay, and I can see what I have scored on my particular assignments. You may have various channels, okay? So channels, the teacher can set up more channels here. Each channel might be for a different section of the course, homework, this one's on the topic one. So each one's got a different um, conversation happening in it. The general channel is where you'll find your assignments in your class notebook. Uh, but all assignments in this case are also posted into homework, so that it's all collected in one area, which is helpful, and you'll get a notification when you get a new assignment in there. And in this case, they've got a topic for biochemistry where they've uploaded some videos and some conversation already happening there, okay? In this case, there's also uh, a shared Excel sheet at the top here, look, that they've pinned, which is asking you to put in some data for some results, and I can, again, do that straight within... Um, Teams, I don't need to launch Excel, and the whole class can edit this document at once. Again, don't need to save it. When I'm done, uh, it's saving as we're going. We can just go back. If at any point you think, oh, this is a bit small on my screen, click the Expand tab to make it bigger, okay? Then you've got more space to work with, okay? So that's the, all the general stuff in Teams. If I go to my Assignments tab, I can get a bit more detail on all the assignments I've got on the different classes. Uh, and keep track of them there. My calendar is where I'm going to get any uh, lessons, virtual lessons, any meetings, which you can all do through Teams. You don't need Zoom, you can do all this stuff through Teams. They will pop up in your calendar, and it's very simple. When they pop up, you can see there's a join button, so I've got a virtual lesson here with Henry Exum at two o'clock. When I'm ready to do that, I'll just click join, then we're ready to go. Okay, so now I'm in this lesson with the, uh, the teacher. If I want to raise my hand, I can raise my hand. There's a conversation here, so we can have a, a meeting chat if we want. So I can ask any questions that are going on. Okay, there's also a few more actions here. Okay, when I finish the meeting, just hang up. 
Uh, if the teachers record the meeting, then it will be posted into that team channel for you to watch uh, at another time. So it's, you don't need to go anywhere else. It will all be posted within Teams itself. And your Files tab is going to show you all your files. You can access your OneDrive. Uh, you can access any files you've got that are already in Teams and any recent ones that you've worked on. Okay. So here, for example, is that apparatus list that I was doing as part of my uh, homework assignment. I can click on that, I can go back into that and I can make further changes. So everything exists within Teams. So I hope that provides a simple startup guide. Teams can do a whole lot more than just this. And there is no doubt that Microsoft will continue to develop new and exciting features in the future. So I hope that was useful and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. See you next time.